Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AETI. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very, very nice move today. Crazy move today, not only from a price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and by far the biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some levels of support. Then we can talk areas of resistance. There is a lot of perspective now that goes into this. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're a day trader and you bought somewhere up around here and you wanted to sell within you know 45 minutes, then yeah, this late day pullback here uh, has made the chart look pretty rough for you. But if you care about the big picture of things, the bulls do sell up plenty of opportunity to build higher bases and that's how long-term uptrends are constructed. I'm gonna be talking about things from a big picture perspective. So if I sound crazy calling something bullish, my guess would be you probably had more of a day trading type perspective going into it. But the first level of support is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, if you say, hey Clay, what make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price could stay up above $1.60. Now don't get me wrong, the price falls below $1.60. I'm not saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, staying up above there would certainly make the chart look the strongest going forward. Taking a step back and looking at things from a big picture point of view, that is where the purple line there comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. So as time goes by, this purple line is going to move itself higher and higher. So very basic yet extremely uh, you know, uh, efficient way to judge and you know gauge the health of the price movement is just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control, no questions asked. Again, yeah, staying above $1.60 would be great. However, from the big picture point of view, as long as the price stays above that purple line, the bulls are in full control of the chart. What about levels of resistance? Two main levels of resistance that stand out to me, right here at 205, and then the other one just simply up there, right around the, uh, the where the chart essentially ran out of steam, and that's right about $2.50. So 205, 250 on any sort of uh, turnarounds. Right now though, I'd say top priority though is building that higher base, because no doubt about it, the latter part of the day was a pretty bearish session. However, looking at the entire session as a whole, which is what we're doing, the bulls do still have that opportunity to build a higher base. So let's see if they can get the job done or not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.